إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد إخوتي في الله فاعلموا أن خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم أما بعد إخوتي في الله عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله عز وجل من عاد لي وليا فقد آذنته بالحر وما تقرب إلي عبد بشيء أحب إليه مما افترته عليك وما يزال عبد يتقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى أحب فإذا أحببته كنت سمعه الذي يسمع به وبصره الذي يبصر به ويده الذي يبطش بها ورجله الذي يمشي, يمشي بها ولئن سألني لأعطينه ولئن استعاد بي لأعيذنه رواه البخاري إخوتي في الله بس حديث إن صحيح البخاري رضي الله رحمه رحمه الله يقول الإمام يقول أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه The messenger of Allah said that Allah عز وجل said من anyone not necessarily a kafir or Muslim, not necessarily a particular sect or group, religion or congregation, but لن عمومي والإشمال من عاد لي وليا فقد آذنته بالحر. Anyone, any individual who becomes an enemy of a wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah يقول فَقَدْ آذَنْتُهُ بِالْحَرِّ Then I, I will wage war against that person. I will announce, I will let any everyone know that he is my enemy. And there is a war between myself and that person. And then he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Yaqul. And nothing is more beloved to me that my servant can perform than what I made obligatory upon them. And then he said, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, and my servant will continue doing the nawafil until I love him. And when I love my servant, 
Then I will be his sight, I will be his hearing, his sight, his hand, his feet. And if he asks, I will surely grant him. And if he seeks protection, I will more certainly, most certainly protect him. This is a hadith for you and I. This is a hadith of a wali. So what is a wali, akhi fillah? Al-wali is a person that Allah chose him because of his closeness to him. Because of act, the acts of worship that he performs. But a lot of us assume that is indeed far to achieve. So far. Wali, friend of Allah. I can never be a wali. I can be a normal Muslim. I will do my nawafil and fara'il. I will do my salah. But I can never reach the level of al-wali. Which is a wrong understanding. We can achieve that if we do what we were asked to do and abstain. Things that Allah asked us to stay away from it. And when you become that, then you will receive a special reward. And a, a word only for you. Yaqul Allah. When he was talking about awliya. Ala khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. Alladheena amanu wa kanu yattaqun. Ala awliya Allah. La khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. Alladheena amanu wa kanu yattaqun. He said, upon the awliya of Allah. Obviously, absolutely, they should not fear, nor experience grief. But with two conditions that they believe in Allah and they fear Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all fear Allah. And we all believe in Allah. And we all try to be closer to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. But how, ya ikhwati fillah? It's by you and I, by the believers, the mu'mineen, trying to do the best that they can. Not to pick and choose. Not to say, I will do this because I feel like it. Or I will do this because this is easy to do. Or I will do this because everyone is doing. La. This is the attitude of the kuffar. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَكْفُرُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُّلِهِ وَيُرِيدُونَ أَنْ يُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ اللَّهِ وَرُسُّلِهِ وَيَقُولُونَ نُؤْمِنُ بِبَعْضٍ وَنَكْفُرُ بِبَعْضٍ وَيُرِيدُونَ أَنْ يَتَّخِذُ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ سَبِيلَ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ حَقًّا When the person becomes a pick, he chooses. He wants to worship Allah in the month of Ramadan because this is a blessed time. He chooses that. He wants to attend every Jum'ah during the month of Ramadan, but the rest of Ramadan, my, I have my work. I will go back to my normal life. He chooses that. So we pick and choose. Yeah. This is the behavior of the kuffar. Allah يَقُلْ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ حَقَّ Indeed, those are the attitude and the behavior of the kuffar. When it comes to a mu'min, in every situation, in, every, in, in any environment, they do their ultimate best. They do what they want to do because they want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not because they come to Salat al-Dhuhr and Salat al-Jum'ah and Salat al-Eid and Salat al-Taraweeh and we pray left and right and then we say, Alhamdulillah, this is enough. No. This is part of what is needed. And that's why Allah, 
He emphasized on that. He said, "Don't assume, don't think. Just you come be coming to the masajid that you achieve the ultimate status of iman." La, ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق والمغرب. He said, that "Righteousness and piety is not for you to turn your faces towards east or the west. No, ولكن البر من آمن بالله وملائكته." <coughs> والكتاب والنبيين وآت المال على حبه ذوي القربة واليتامى والمساكين وابن السبيل والسائلين وفي الرقاب وأقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة, وآت الزكاة والموفون بعهدهم إذا عاهدوا والصابرين في البأساء والضراء وحين البأس أولئك الذين صدق وأولئك هم المتقون You have to do all this صلاة Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Iman in the angels, the books, the nabiyyin. You give. And in spite of the love and the desire that you have, well, you give. And who do you give? Al-Masakeen. Ibn al-Sabil. Al-Riqab. And then you establish the salah. You pay the zakah. You, you fulfill your covenant. And when you are patient at the time of hardship, at the time of struggle, no. Allah يقول, they are the righteous ones. Step by step. ويقول عمر رضي الله عنه يقول أفضل الأعمال ما افترض الله والورع عن محارم الله وصدق النية فيما عند الله Three things The best of all deeds he said رضي الله عنه That you do the obligations And you abstain from the prohibitions And you put your trust and you have a correct نية towards your Lord, your creation Your creator وَيَقُولُ عُمَرَ بِنُ عَبْدِ الْعَزِيزِ Similarly to the, that statement and then he said And the best of the ibadat al-badan is for you to establish the salah لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ يَقُولُ كَلَّا لَا تُطِعُ وَاسْجُدْ وَقْتَرِدْ وَيَقُولُ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ فِي صَحِيحٍ مُسْلِمْ وَالسُنَنِ أَبِي دَاؤُودِ وَالنَّسَاءِ يَقُولُ أقرب ما يأقرب ما يكون العبد من ربه وهو ساجد. In the state of sujood. إخوتي في الله تقدموا وتفسحوا. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا قيل لكم تفسحوا في المجالس فافسحوا. Oh, you believe when, Allah, when you are asked to move, to give space, allow the people to sit, do that. So allow your Muslim brothers to walk into the masjid. So إخوتي في الله. The best that we can do is the fara'id. The fara'id that we perform. As-salawat. As-zakah. Hajj. This is the basic of the five pillars of an Islam. When you do this, then you are a servant of Allah. And if you want to be closer to your Creator, If you want him to love you, then do the nawafil. Do the nafila. Do whatever extra that you can. I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, if your bosses, if your manager asks you, if your manager asks you and he says, I am giving you over time, I want you to say an hour extra and I'll pay you double. A lot of us would stay. What about that quality time that we want to spend with the kids? No, I'm working for them. What about the time that you needed to rest? No, I'm working for the family. Because you want to aim for that extra payment. And Allah here is telling you, if you want to be close to me, And do the nawaf. Do the extra hours. Do the things that I will love. 
you to do. And then here, يقول Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you do this, you receive the following. But what is the best of nawaf? What is the best that you can do? يقول العلماء تلاوة القرآن Reciting the book of Allah. Al-Qur'an that we read it for barakah only for Ramadan and Qiyam and Layl during the last 10 days of Ramadan or we listen to it. Al-Qur'an should be that constant, com constant companion. You don't leave him anywhere. Always with you. At work you have it. In your car there's a copy of the Qur'an. If you're taking a bus on your iPod or you have on your CD and you're playing the Quran. Listen to this. He said, be closer to Allah through any means that is available for you. وَعْلَمْ And then he said, but you must know ما تقربت إليه من شيء أحب إليه من القرآن. He said you will never be closer to Allah by performing any act of worship like reciting the book of Allah. And then he said, listen to this. يقول لا شيء عند المحبين أحلى من كلام حبيبه. سبحان الله. It's so true. He said, لا شيء عند المحبين. He said, there is nothing equal. The loved one, the lovers, the, the one who loves others. Nothing equal to that for that person. Then knowing, hearing the statement of the loved ones. If you love someone, you like to hear their voices. You like to hear his voice or her voice. If he emails you, you are excited as soon as you see that you receive an email from that individual. When he calls, and a call ID shows you the number of that individual, your heart moves. Because even before you hear the voice of that individual, because you love that person. And here, Khabab Yaqul, nothing. It's like the words of Allah. Because when it comes to your Habib, Yaqul, this is what the hearts desire. And this is the ultimate goal. And when it comes to Quran, we have to do this. It has to be that, that, that love, that connection has to be established. But ikhwati billah, how could you love something that you don't even understand? I know what the love is there, logically is there, iman-wise is there, but sweetness of that love is missing because we can't read and understand it. It's in another language. A language that you, you and I don't want to learn. We desire to learn, but we're really not doing any practical steps to go and learn it. No. We claim that we love. Allah will lie. Because otherwise you will see these classes filled with students. They don't want to study Fara'id. They don't want to study Hadith and Sirah. They want to study Arabic. Why? Because this is the language of the book of my Creator. I want to know. I want to know what is He telling me. I want to taste the sweetness of the ayah. Not the translation of person who is awesome, awesome, simple person. La, I want to get it from the Mus'hab itself. لِذَلِكَ يَقُولْ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ بِنُ مَسْعُودِ مَنْ أَحَبَّ الْقُرْآنِ فَقَدْ أَحَبَّ اللَّهِ